twofold question. Uh, one is uh, what technology publications you read uh, regularly, and then I have a question of my own. Uh, is hard copy publication going away? Uh, and, what, uh, and what do you think what Apple is trying to do with the rumors which are out there? Is that they want to have a you know a control over just what they did over the music now with the publishers also. Um, uh, newspapers have a real challenge because news is now a commodity. You get it instantly. And uh, an example of it was uh, about a year and a half ago. The Daily Show did a story on the New York Times. Why the New York Times allowed them, I don't know. But uh, the reporter stands outside the New York Times building and says, we're about to go someplace where they still believe you should get information on pieces of paper, in terms of paper items, soil tissue. And then he goes inside and comes upon a stack of newspapers and picks one up. Poor PR person doesn't know what to make of this. He says, you know, my grandmother really still loves this thing. And then, uh, so he goes on like this, and he meets with uh, one of the editors and says to the, asks the question, why do you think you have a future with aged news. And so what do you mean aged news? And uh, the Daily Show reporter just said, well, here's a, here's a piece of paper with yesterday's news, but today's date. Why do we do that? <laughs> and, and, uh, and, and, and then uh, he meets with the editor who, and uh, does the same thing with him, and finally he says to, to the guy, he says, Can I, are you up for a joke? And the other guy doesn't know what's going to be with it now. He says, okay, so I have a question for you. What is black, white, and red all over? And uh, the editor sort of scratches and said, newspaper? And the reporter says, no, you're bound to sheet. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, newspapers, so there will be some newspapers around, but they're all going to have a unique brand, unique content, and not rely on what you get in a handout. And uh, magazines, people do like the feel of magazines, even young people still like the feel of magazines. So I think there's a future there, not as many as we've had in the past, but uh, there's still a future there. And then uh, in terms of, uh, so but the key thing is, we have found so far, is that having something in print gives more credibility to what you do online. We saw that in Asia. We have a magazine called Forbes Asia, relatively small circulation in English, but it's been great for building our businesses in China, Korea, now Indonesia, and elsewhere. So uh, we, we, we see them as a, almost seamless now. And in terms of where you get your technology information, you just go on the web, or if you like the pack of view, get wired and others, and there's plenty of stuff there. Key thing is being around people who are immersed in it, and you pick it kind of almost by osmosis, realizing you're not an expert, but uh, you can absorb a lot just by having an open mind. Thank you. I didn't understand the response about the question was asked. Oh, I apologize. Yeah, uh, good. I'll uh, hand that part on, on Apple. Uh, Apple realized what Google realized a long time ago, that if you uh, control uh, the data that you get from uh, what we put online, you, uh, you, you are master of the universe. But they discovered apps, that's not so easy to do, and competition's also opening the thing up. We've just begun to see what social media is going to do to this whole area in terms of uh, media and the data. So I don't lose sleep over Apple. I'm beginning to not to lose sleep over Google. This thing is moving so fast, and uh, you saw it, for example, in the whole net neutrality debate. Why did Google switch? Because of uh, because of uh, the change in technology. They suddenly realized, oh my God, uh, we're, we're going to we're going to be in trouble if uh, this thing becomes the equivalent of rent control. So uh, so uh, change is your enemy, and change is your friend. And so, in terms of anyone trying to be a master of the universe. Enjoy your 15 minutes, because if you don't come up with something else, you're not going to have the next 15 minutes. Yeah, thank, you. Uh, thank you, Mr. Forbes, uh, for coming today and, and giving us such a great insight. Uh,
but thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Forbes is going to be in the next door signing the books and uh, taking some pictures if anyone wants a picture of them. Thank you. Also, I'd like to thank the panel.